I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Rangers. Today is December 8th, 2023. Here are your daily announcements with Isaiah and Colton, and on to Jay with Spones. This weekend, there will be plenty of basketball action going on. On the 8th, our high school boys will be taking on Waynesfield Goshen at home. The following night, the 9th, junior high boys basketball will go to Jackson Center. Junior high girls basketball will be home against Jackson Center. High school girls basketball will be home against St. Mary's and high school boys will be home against Fairlawn. Go Rangers. December 12th, the junior high boys are home versus St. Mary's, and the junior high girls are away at Delphi St. John's. Our junior high boys will be home versus Delphi St. John's the 14th. The junior high girls will be away at Houston, and our high school Lady Rangers will be home against Delta St. John's. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jay, for that beautiful, spectacular, wonderful, and amazing sports review. And now on to Noah with Scoville. Shout out to the Scholastic Bowl team who competed in the Quiz Bowl on November 21st. They finished third in the league. The team was coached by Mrs. Will, and members included freshmen Colton Gable, Jude Holland, Jet Regger, A.J. Spring, and Miley Kaup. Sophomores Aaron Wenis, Colin Miltner, Mark Jones, Will Jones, and senior Ella Reeser. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you, Noah, for that Scobo interview. Remember that Thursday the 14th, Interested juniors have a field trip to Precision Strip. And there will be a Tristall Open House on December 11th. And on to Jason with a pep band interview. Have you ever been to a basketball game? Well, then you've probably seen these guys, but who are they really? Uh, pep band is very important because not only is it something that a lot of the band members can do for actual fun rather than just constant concert band preparing for the single event that's months away rather than stuff that's every Friday and Saturday and then you get to go to basketball games for free as well which is also nice but it's fun because it's just enjoyable it's a time-honored tradition that we've had for always playing uh, the fight song every time that we uh, we win or lose a game. The pep band plays a variety of songs that everyone knows and loves, such as that one song that nobody knows that they play every single time, that other song they play every single time that no one knows, a bunch of pop songs from the 2010s, and of course, the fight song. Hello, I'm Jet Redker. I'm part of the pep band. I play percussion or cowbell, and pep band is important because if pep band wasn't at the basketball games, it'd be really boring. And that's why it's important. Out of their dozens of songs, each one is a crowd pleaser. If you've ever wanted to hear Crazy Train as you're getting popcorn, the pep band's got you covered. band's important to me because as a smaller school, we don't get to do much with marching band and... I like playing faster music and not slow music like we do in concert band. So next time you come to a basketball game, look out for the pep band. Thank you, Jason, for that amazing pep band interview. The Tao show will be on the 20th. People who will want to be in it will want to go to Miss Tebow and sign up by the 8th. 
There will be no auditions. For lunch today, we will be having chicken patty sandwich, carrots, baked beans, and applesauce. Stay tuned for other announcements. Thank you.